For such an extended firework sequence, we knew we needed to build a procedural system that allowed the animated proxies to be turned into natural looking fireworks that matched the randomly generated ones. And of course, the biggest challenge was maintaining continuity from one shot to the next, so being able to control the type and color of the fireworks within the simulation was vital. And the big crescendo here is the water cannon. We made sure to keep the simulation as natural as possible within such an unnatural shape for water and then relying on some further post-simulation adjustments to clean up and contain all those particles within a sphere. This was even more pronounced for the slow motion shot, where we had to force the ball to explode outwards on impact to achieve such a stylized shape. The storm was an interesting challenge because we were faced with trying to make something dark and dangerous but without scaring the young audience too much. We mostly relied on cartoony silhouettes and exaggerated motion to anchor it into the world of Paw Patrol, and careful use of lightning and flashes to maintain a controlled sense of danger. And as always with water, it's important to stick to all the elements the viewer is expecting to see, such as bubbles, foam, and underwater moats, where it just doesn't feel like water. But to keep this within the style of the world required some careful management of these elements and a few exaggerated shaders to elevate the contrast of the underwater shots. From the very beginning of the project, we began development of a whole suite of techniques for bending metal and breaking up concrete, all the while making sure we could guide and control the simulation, rather than being at the mercy of randomness. And with all these elements, as well as the storm, the wind and the rain, these shots were some of the most exciting to bring to life. And when it came to creating an epic explosion within a children's film, of course our first instinct was to look for reference within the colourful world of anime. Analyzing frame by frame hand-drawn explosions and incorporating some of the most extreme poses helped us to keep this effect punchy and awesome. A fitting finale for our furry heroes. 